a first for this Washington State farm. It's a good section. Harvesting quinoa. After five decades growing everything from cabbage to wheat, Nash Huber recently finished harvesting the South American grain. It's a beautiful crop. With demand growing for quinoa, a small number of American farmers are testing out the crop. We're in the early stages here, still learning. You know, this is, uh, I kind of stepped off the end of the dock here with a little bit of a bite this year. More than 90% of the quinoa supply comes from Peru and Bolivia. But Americans consume more than half the global production of quinoa the edible seeds known for their nutritional value. Uh, it's got all of the amino acids that human needs, so it's a complete protein, and that's really hard to find in grain crops. 16, 23, 27. It's also been a challenge 30. finding the right way to grow it in the US. Washington State University researchers are testing varieties that can withstand heat, along with late summer rains without sprouting. I think to have like large acreage, a lot of farmers throughout the U.S. growing quinoa, it'll take some new variety de development that works for the different regions. While quinoa has been a boon for the economies of Peru and Bolivia, generating $111 million in 2012, recent overproduction has caused prices to drop, straining farmers especially small ones. The lower quinoa prices has affected them because it takes a lot of money to cultivate quinoa, more than other crops. Quinoa's diversity is part of the appeal for farmers like Huber. I hope I break even. <laughs> you know, if we break even, make a little money, that'll be good, because I've learned quite a few things here. A learning experience that could help reshape the future of quinoa on U.S. soil. Tracy Brown. Associated Press.